we're going to break a little bit from tradition since it's the lateness of the hour and uh, you guys know each other very well. So you can make a statement on the game, Matt, and then uh, we'll go to questions. Um, you know, obviously it's, it's hard to talk at the end of the year because it's just been a pretty emotional, you know, time for our team. And, um, you know, as I reflect on the year and, and really this game, I thought, um, you know, it's just hard to say goodbye to, to, to players like Max and Tavon. And you know, we talk a little bit about what they've, you know, meant in, in leaving your mark on a program, and, and they've absolutely done that. And they've done it by just being no-nonsense people. Um, you know, they've worked harder than, than anyone um, um, that I've ever, you know, been around in a basketball court. And they've just, you know, had um, a presence that's just been unbelievable. And so it's been obviously a pretty emotional locker room right now. And, um, you know, the one thing that those young men have done, is, I mean, they only won 15 games right now their senior year, and, and they've won 97 for their career. Um, and it's just absolutely amazing. You know, and as, as we look to this game, I think, you know, it's pretty easy to see that, you know, Alizé, um, he's a fantastic player and he's very experienced and, you know, he's very experienced at a position where we're very inexperienced. And I thought it showed, you know, for us, um, one of our keys was to limit his offensive rebounds and limit his rebounding. And, you know, we just didn't do a great job of that. Um, you know, obviously we fought back, you know, made it a game, had a couple shots there to tie it and um, they just didn't go in. So... Um, you know, Tavon and Max have really left their, their mark on the program, and, and we've got big boys to fill um, with their just leadership and toughness. Um, but, um, you know, we're excited to be in the Valley. It's been one heck of a ride. Um, this is a very well-run event, and it feels like an NCAA tournament game, to tell you the truth, and, you know, really, really cool experience for us. Proud of the effort that you saw late in the second half. I mean, do you take that with you into the off season with these guys? You have to, um, but you know the one thing we didn't execute very well at all in the first half, and it was—I don't know if it was just new to the the tournament, but we looked like a deer in headlights there for a while, and um, it took us a while to kind of get out of our shell. I thought, even though they kind of pushed the lead to 12, I thought we were competing better um, in the second half. Um, but, you know, for us, we've got to give, you know, a full 40-minute effort. And, and we've been doing that really well lately. Um, and for some reason, our execution just wasn't great in the first half. What did you see on the Malik foul early in the second half? And I guess kind of what explanation did you get from that play? Um, you know, I, I guess Malik was being physical. You know, we challenged those guys at halftime to um, you know, do a better job on Alize and keep him off the glass. And... You know, Malik, although he's a freshman, I mean, he's he's very physical. I mean, he's 6'8 and 220 pounds. I think he outweighs Alizé. So I think he was trying to make his presence felt. And I don't know. I mean, I got an explanation that his hand might have grazed him down. Um, you know, we can't do anything about that. Tavon had 22 points in the second half. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen him do things like that before. But just I guess how special was it to watch him put the team on his back there? Yeah, he's a competitor, you know, and he didn't want to go out tonight. There's no doubt about it. And, you know, we're a shot away from, um, you know, probably winning that game, and it just didn't happen. So very proud of him, though. I mean, he is a, you know, again, like I said, he's left his mark on the program. And um, you know, I, I told him, you know, it's senior night, but, you know, those guys are always welcome in my house. They're, they're better people than they are players. And, uh, you know, Tavon was a warrior tonight early in the week that you'd had conversations about other things. Is the CBI has taken sub-500 teams. What is this it? You guys are... Uh, we'll evaluate that. I'm not sure yet. And I guess what was the overall message to the team in the locker room after the game? You know, if, if you want to win games like this, you just got to execute for 40 minutes. And, and we didn't really touch on that. I don't think now is necessarily the, the time or the place. But, um, you know, we did say that, you know, for us to, you know, we're young, yeah, we're the youngest team in the Valley, but for us to win games like this, we've got to just be able to match toughness, be able to execute. And for the first 20 minutes, we just didn't do it. And my final question, Bakari going to the line, missing three free throws is the kind of thing that can eat at a player for a long time. What, I guess, what do you say to him or, or how do you talk that out with him to make sure it doesn't become a, a Nick Anderson type thing down the line? Uh, I mean, I don't know. You know, Bakari's got a lot of confidence in himself and, 
Um, you know, it's something that we'll address. But, you know, I, I had full confidence in him going up to the line. You know, I thought I think it was a six-point game at that point, And I thought, well, he'll hit all three. It'll be a three-point game. And then we just got to get a stop. And it just didn't happen. Thank you, Matt. Thanks, guys. Okay.